Hey, this is Trace. In my previous video, I made a recording of myself playing one of my bamboo flutes. Record it with a Zoom Q2N handy video recorder. Right now, I have it in my video editing software. In this video, I'm going to show you how I turned this into this. Let's get to it. The first thing we have to do is import this video file into my music software. I'm using Cubase 9, but this process will work with any software with these features. All right, first let's go to File, Import, let's import the video file, and then the next thing I like to do is Zoom Tracks Full. Since we're going to be just editing the audio clip of this video file, we don't need the video clip. So let's go ahead and get rid of it. So now all we have on the screen is the waveform of the audio file. And let's go ahead and change its color to make it a little easier for us. That, okay, that's fine. One of the first things I noticed about this waveform is this area here is at a higher volume than the rest of it. Let's fix that. Now the first thing I want to do is split it from here. And let's go back and select this. And let's go to here. There's an audio process. And let's normalize that area to its maximum level. Okay, now that's going to be hot, so we're going to have to make some adjustments. So let's just start at a little closer to the other side. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, not bad. And while we're at it, let's group these sections of the clip together. And I'm going to go here to edit and hit group. So now all of these are one waveform. It is of the utmost importance to keep the clip to its original length. The next thing I want to do is add some effects to this clip. So let's go to channel settings and let's insert some reverb and let's choose the Roomworks SE and let's go here and uh, Cathedral is one of my favorite effect settings. So let's go there. Oh, let's hear it. Okay, sounds good. Now that we have the flute recording the way we want it, the next thing I need to do is show you how I add music to the clip. 
In many of my musical pieces, I play with a continuous synth tone in the background. This is called a pad. And Steinberg has a virtual instrument called Pad Shop. So let's add an instrument track with Pad Shop. Let's right click on this area of the screen and select Add Instrument Track. And we're going to select Pad Shop. And then Add Track. So now we have a separate track with Pad Shop. Okay, let's get Pad Shop set up. So, first thing we'll let's do is let's change this color to yellow and resize the tracks so I can expand the mixer window. Now we're ready to use Pad Shop. The next thing we have to do is select a preset. That is one of the sound samples from the virtual instrument. So we go to click this window and then let's, let's select the first one. So we have that one selected. Some virtual instruments have built in keyboards so you can test their presets. <laughs> that one. And what we can do is play our flute clip. I think that was it. Okay, as you can see, this key is identified as D2. Now, let's record the instrument. There are many ways of doing this with Cubase, but let's do it the quickest way possible. First, we set the range markers from the beginning to the end of the clip. Then select the track and then click it again. That brings us into the MIDI editor window. Now let's find the D2 key. Let's select the draw pencil and D2 is right above C2 on the MIDI keyboard. Just draw it in. The range markers on the piano roll correspond with the range markers on the timeline. And we want one continuous tone across the entire clip. So between the two range markers. Instrument tracks are MIDI tracks. MIDI tracks just tell which notes in the virtual instrument when to come on and off. So let's convert this MIDI track into an audio track so we can edit it like our first track. With later versions of Cubase, 
you have the option to render in place. And what that will do is convert that MIDI track into a separate audio track. So we go to edit, render in place, render with current settings. And now we have an audio track that we can edit. So let's mute this instrument track. Now we can add fades to the audio track. And we'll select the mixer so we can adjust the volumes. Now, the final step in Cubase is to mix down this audio and export this file as a wave. So let's go to File, Export, Audio Mix Down. We'll give it a name. And I'm going to save it to the desktop as a wave file. So, Export. Here is that WAV file. Let's import it into the video editing software. And if we've done everything right, its waveform should match up with the original waveform on the timeline. Now we have a separate edited audio clip that we can use with the original video or other projects. Okay. That's all I got. If you have any questions, I'll do the best I can. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.